Daily task tracking can be a bit tricky. Completion of work can be added in Excel a whole lot differently. These are easy to use and visually appealing as well. Hello there, this is Fariha Tulmim from Excel Demi. Your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates and VBA related answers. Today our discussion is how to create a daily task sheet in Excel. Here is a data set with 6 tasks with their priority levels mentioned. Now we can mark instantly or visually through 3 methods. We will show them to you using Excel 365. You can use other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. In this method, we will create a daily task sheet using drop down list. Select F5 to F10 and go to data tab from the data tools select data validation here from the allow drop down menu we can see that excel is quite featureful using whole number decimal date time etc using data validation we will add list here list and for source our sources are the options to view let's type not started in process completed now if you click here we can see that each of the cells are added with drop down list let's give high priorities as completed and medium as in process and low as not started now select e5 to e10 and go to home tab under the styles group choose conditional formatting drop down menu choose highlight cell rules and here click on text that contains let's say hi and the formatting will be red fill color since it's not here let's go to custom format and here let's choose this one okay again using the same way text that contains let's type medium and now let's go to custom format again and in fill color let's choose this one okay and for low go along with the same way and type low to format it with green color okay now we can see that high medium and low priorities are colored differently select d5 to d10 and go to styles group to conditional formatting drop down menu select new rules here click on this option which is use a formula to determine which cells to format in the formula bar let's type equals f5 equals completed which means if a5 is completed then the formatting will be in action so our format is from the fill tab this color and from the font tab select strike through okay we can see the preview for our format let's click on ok and we can see that all the statuses for completed the tasks are formatted into the fill color and strike through in this method we will create daily task sheet using checkbox to add checkboxes we need to utilize our developer tab if you don't have your developer tab in your excel 365 then you need to enable it go to file tab from the options we can get excel options here go to customize ribbon here from the main tabs you can see that our developer tab is selected in case that's unchecked you need to check this box and select ok you will have your developer tab this tab helps us to write macro codes use xml commands ActiveX controls and some actions via Microsoft Visio. Now let's go to Controls group. Click on Insert drop down menu and select Checkbox. Now click on cell F5 and move the checkbox within the center and middle aligned. Now right click on it to modify or edit anything. Edit text and let's remove the text. Now select cell F5 and Control C to copy. Now click on F6 to F10 and use Ctrl V 
to paste the checkbox. Now, in column G, we want to extract the status of tasks. We want to link the checkboxes so that they add true or false according to values from column F. Now, select first checkbox and from the format control, choose unchecked and as cell link, type G5. Okay, repeat the process for all the checkboxes and every time choose the latter one. G7, G8, G9, and finally G10. Okay, let's add borders for G column from home tab under font group, all borders. Now, if you put a check mark on these boxes, we can see that it shows us true. Now, if we click on them again it shows us false as in the work is not done let's put check marks on the high priority ones for now and let's not check the medium and low priority ones now select d5 to d10 and from the home tab under styles group go to conditional formatting and here select new rule click on use a formula to determine which cells to format in the formula bar, let's type equals G5 equals true, which means if G5 shows the text true, it will format as we declare here. Let's choose format as fill color. Let's choose this one and font as strike true. Okay. Okay. Now we can see that the three status as true or the checkboxes are showing tasks as strike true and blue fill color. It looks fascinating, right? Previously, we have added the priority here and formatted them according to text. Now, in developer tab, we will add Visual Basic to add macro code to create our daily task sheet in an easier way. Now, from the developer tab in the code group, select Visual Basic. It will bring you to Visual Basic Applications. Now double click on Sheet 3. Let's extend it this way. Now in this code window, click on this drop down and select Worksheet. And here, select before double click. You can remove this part since we won't be needing that. Here, you can see that cancel is considered as Boolean, which is true or false or one or zero. Now let us consider cancel equals false first now let's use our first condition if the row of our target is greater than or equals 5 and target row is less than or equals 10 and target column equals 6 then Cancel will be considered as true. Now, time for our second condition, which brings us to if cells target dot row comma target dot column is not equal to the range value of G5. then this value get the value of range 5 dot value else this value else this value will be equal to no so end of our second if condition and end of our first if condition now we need to save this code to run this save it using this way now you need to make sure that your file is saved as microsoft macro enabled workbook and it will get an extension which is xlsm we have added a number as our worksheet name so that you can easily understand the extension you can see that xlsm is our extension 
Now we can close it. Now in G5, we know that's our reference as range value. Let's type yes. Now if we double click on F5, we can see that it shows us true. Followed by the same way, F7 shows true as well. And the process goes on. Now select D5 to D10 and go to Home tab. From the Styles group, choose Conditional Formatting drop-down and choose New Rule. And select Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. Here on the Formula bar, let's type F5 equals True. Which means if F5 has True as its value, we will get the format that we set here. Let's set the format as fill color like blue and font as strike true. Okay. Okay. We can see that all the values that are showing true, the tasks are showing the format that we chose. From these three methods, you can choose any of them according to your convenience. You can practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to create a daily task sheet in Excel in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.